Hi guys, just made for you an article about um, how to create an Arch Linux setup, but then with, oh, let me type first, <laughs> then with a BTRFS file system. So instead of using the Arch Linux D website is where you learn all about phase seven, is it? Phase seven. You learn all about Arch Linux installation. The latest, the latest, newest article is here. So here we have the latest articles and all the entries. All in one, Arch Linux, UFI, ButterFS, SEDM, XFCE, all explained. And that's this one, so Super F7. No, not Super F7. That's actually done in VMware. Why well, always virtual box, right? So from time to time, I'll take another one. So when we start up the system and go for a full screen, it's gonna boot up. Come on, go in there, mouse. It's gonna boot up Arch Linux, basically. We get simplicity and we're gonna get this. Now, this is already the XFCE settings. I don't like when it keeps giving me the pop, when it gives the pop-ups of last session, right? So it, it remembers my session and it wants to show that session again. So current session, save session. I don't want it to provide me with that again. So remove clear save sessions. Yes, I don't want that. So when I reboot, I don't want to see this. Otherwise that's what's gonna happen. So if I do control and then I believe this one, save session for future logins, I don't want that. So it's off. So when I log out and log in, just so you know, we start for fresh, clean. Now, duff, let's start there. We have at this point in time, a system a file system. Control H, there is no dot snapshot available. You've seen me make videos about Snapper and it, it's snapshots. There is no time shift available. Now, I just wanted to check something else at this point in time. There is a TMP. Yes, I forgot to shut down my stuff here, which means Discord, you're out, Telegram, you're out. And let's go back to full screen. So we have created in this particular setup. So Peter FS, Arch Linux, AA, Carly maybe, right? Uh, ALCI, there are all ways, there are 40 ways to install Arch Linux already in the project of Arch Linux 4T, right? And why choose always the same? We don't learn anything if we always do the same. So here I have a temp, a TMP, my folder temp is actually a different sub volume. And I don't do that in the others or I do in the others. And what else? Var, cache, this is a separate thing. Why? Because of Pacman and its packages. These are all the packages we've installed. So we don't need to roll back these packages. So that's why they're in a volume, a sub volume. And the only one we are rolling back would be either root or home of often as well right if you said it that way so what i wanted to check as well is if you go to the file system fs tab we've made some decisions and let's make this bigger and maybe another color i do like colors voila much better so what it says is that SDA3 is ButterFS. Okay, fine. SDA1 is EFI or UEFI. And all the rest are ButterFS things. And this is swap. What I'm wondering is, is everything okay? Is swap being used? Is swap being used? Good question. Um, I do believe we've made 
maybe she can show that i just made a few days ago a new video about btop aha uh -huh. it has a swap in here so root swap root home server and so on it has a line of talking about swap that's nice let me yeah let me shut down the system what if i shut down the system and this is virtual box well no it's vmware what if i told him the memory is like one gigabyte or something like really something very very small would it be using swap them right if it doesn't if an operating system doesn't have enough system windows as well goes to the page file sys and it's gonna try to overcome its issue that it doesn't have any memory gtop btop sorry gtop exists as well all right Ale, come on big then swap aha one percent okay i have more screens Control f is gonna launch what else do i have nothing more actually super 5 i've installed so melt is installed did not install gimp so go back to minus in let's install big applications inkscape like this we want to fill up our memory super f3 super f4 are all loading up then we go to screen one and we do see that the swap is being used so 13 percent so i just wanted to make sure that the config that we've put online on archlinksd.com how to create an archlinx butter fs system is actually using the swap and it is so that's the first test the second test is the next video let's get snapper in there i do like the coloring nice beetle all right next video